Hello, and welcome to the next video. Uh, it is the day after the hottest day of the year. That's of no doubt. It's absolutely gorgeous this morning. Perfect for riding. As you'll see from the next little time lapse, uh, me and my mate Lou, my climbing buddy, went outdoor climbing for the first time ever. Which was an absolutely epic experience. Something we'll be doing again, as long as we've got enough gear. <laughs> but for now, I'm just going into work. I'll have a little ride afterwards somewhere. Not sure how far yet. We'll see what the weather's doing. Not ridden since the last video, since Sunday. Uh, I was feeling a bit knackered after that, but it was warm. So I'll work out where we're going later, and you can come along with me. Well, alrighty then. So we're on to Wednesday afternoon. Just checking my watch there. Uh, designed my route. Little hilly 30 miles with some steep stuff in. I'll say steep, about 17, 18, maybe up to 20%. Uh, you locals will know it as the Black Horse. So I'm going from Kendall up to T Bay, or near, near T Bay down to Sedba, up over the Black Horse, and then the lovely uh, tiny little road's back. Uh, it's kind of overcast now, as you can probably see. Still quite warm though. Let's have a look. 23. So at the moment, as I probably mentioned, this is just cycling, with a little edge for training as well. Just getting out and doing again, just getting some miles in. Because I need to, and I enjoy it. Um, the full ramp is going to come over winter. I'm going to do a lot more stuff on the turbo because that really, really makes a difference. But I'm just enjoying this weather whilst it's lasting. Plus, getting ready for Carmel's ride in a week and a half. And of course, all the roads undulate, weave around. You see it going up there, up between the hedges there. You accumulate elevation really. I would say easily. No, I won't say easily. Short little spurts of, uh, of hilly stuff. And just like that, seven and a bit miles in, you're at a thousand feet. Well, not, not at a thousand feet, you've done a thousand feet of climbing. And you're up into the good stuff. There's a bit of moisture in the air down there. I'm heading down that way soon, so I'm going up here and up round to the left over where the white truck is up there. Come on. Then turn left all the way down, and then I'll be following this valley down to where it's raining, which you can't see now because I've gone down there a bit. Eh, 
still going to be warm, it might be quite refreshing. I just have to make sure my phone's uh, waterproofed. It's gorgeous. Now that's better, away from all the busy road. You can see the road up there where I've just come down from the radio tower. For what it's worth, I'm still in the big ring. I know I popped out of it on Sunday. But yeah, there were 25% hills. I'm not staying in for that. I'm not sure how long that's going to last today. Definitely not up the black horse. It's too long and too steep. Or should I say, too steep for too long. Here's my sheep, look. Come on. Where are you going, loves? There you go. All of a feel to themselves, they want to be on the bit by the road. Just need a plane to fly over now, that'd be good. Oh, need to turn you off here. Sorry, that descends quite quickly into a relatively sharp corner if you're going quick. <laughs> I wasn't, uh, wasn't doing that one handed. And now we're under the Howgills. to stop for a minute my stomach's turning itself inside out today it's just awful <laughs> awful wind uh, you just have to be a bit careful when you're riding don't you look at this view look towards the more northern howgills there behind that tree just my, my head doesn't feel 100 percent legs feel all right i think me my body i think should we see if that seems all right heart rate oh yeah average heart rate's 125 so i'm definitely not pushing it that's uh, really steady. Average speed's low. It's because I don't give a monkeys today. 14 and a half so far. It's been quite a hilly, uh, a hilly post work. I'm at 2,000 feet. Not really gone that far. Where have I gone? 16 and a half miles. Nearly 2,000 feet. Forgot to put any food in as well. It's a bit foolish. I'm considering hiking off to Sedba to just pick some up from a shop. But I shouldn't need it really. Shouldn't need it. You just get days when you're not 100%, don't you? It's fine. Fine. We're not been really up here for a very long time, so what I might do is just put you away and get on with it. <laughs> up we climb in the granny gear now. Oh, 28 at least. <laughs> I think it's fair to say I'm feeling pretty weak today. Um, not particularly out of breath, I'm just got energyless, I think. So I'm just, uh, I think I've only got eight miles to go. Quite a lot of downhill, which is nice. Because <laughs> I'm at 700 feet now, so. Yeah, steady away, local roads home. Yeah, rough. Ugh. Just pootling. Yeah, I'm totally, totally devoid of energy. Totally gone. Uh, fortunately, I think it's only four miles home. Mostly downhill, so should be alright. Just now you're knackered, but even downhill, I'm wobbly. So maybe maybe Sunday took a little bit more out of me than I was expecting. But, hmm. At least I'm not delirious. I can see where I'm going, uh, and it's a bit warmer here as well. From the sound you can hear, M6. So that's southbound. We're just a couple of miles south of Killington Services. Sure of that yellow house is over there. I'll just descend down to that straight across. It's mainly downhill from there. Yeah. So that's okay. Should be fine. Got loads of water and electrolytes. I've been going through the uh, electrolytes. Try and keep me topped up with energy. I'm just about warm. I've got to take my glasses off because I can't see a bloody thing. 
really should have put the uh, the reactor ones on today. Never mind. It's, yeah, it's raining, which would be refreshing, but I'm cold. I'm actually cold. So no, I'm definitely not right today. Hey ho. Oh, looking forward to a shower. I'm getting some food in me. I need some calories. Yeah, so cold, tired and hungry is really not a good combination. <laughs> it's a bit obvious, isn't it, really? But I just have to write today off as a bad one. Don't get many. The cold bit I don't particularly understand because it's 20 degrees. Anyway, back at the climbing wall tomorrow, indoors. Oh, well, that's better. Come in, I've sat for a minute, spoken to Alex. Destroyed a mint cake. Five minutes later, life's coming back. Really should have taken one with me, but I didn't have any at work. So I'm gonna take a few to work with me when I go out on rides, amongst a couple of other things. I've got some trek bars, which I was supposed to take one. Uh, I was just keen to get out of work, <laughs> as you'd understand. Anyway, so I will see you tomorrow at the wall. And here we are. So a nice, well, I'm going to say easy day, probably won't be, here at Kendall, doing a spot of climbing indoors again because it's raining, um, I think I feel okay after yesterday, um, the guts are still playing up, but I don't know, I just don't know, I'll work it out the weekend. That one I've just shown you, that's through there. Loads of goes like that, must have had 15 attempts. Turn the camera off, did it. You're gonna have to believe me. I'll come back in a week or two and do it again, if it's still here. I think I'm gonna read this video here. Uh, yeah, definitely an odd week. Knackered, but I'm not knackered. I've got boatloads of energy, but I've got no energy. Can't work it out. <laughs> uh, I think I'm out on my back tomorrow, weather dependent. It's a bit grim at the moment. Potentially Baldwin Sunday. I'm just gonna work it out. I'm gonna have a quite an easy week this week because we've got Carmela's ride in, ooh, nine days. So that's gonna be cool. Oh, by the way, I forgot to add, there's a couple of days left. If you're after any mint cake, go to Romney's uh, website. Um, they've got a 10% discount code. Type in summer 10. I'll drop a link in the first comment or in the description, just have a look for that. Also, they have just become the sponsors of 2022's The Struggle Hill Climb. Don't want to, but I think I'm gonna to have to enter. Uh, if you don't know The Struggle, it's a 25% hill out of Ambleside. It goes up for a long time, flattens off, and goes up to Kirkson Pass in, um, and it's a race. I think it's the third or fourth one. And Romney's kind of cake are sponsoring it this year. Um, your boy best get there, hadn't he? Anyway, I'm gonna disappear now. I'm gonna have an afternoon of some rest. Might have to do some cooking, because I promised, because my wife brilliantly brought me some stuff early so I could come Baldwin. Thank you, love. <laughs> and I will catch you on the next one. <laughs>